Hi everyone, it's Donna from Smokin'licious in Olean, New York in America. And today we're going to feature an episode on something very special. Today we're going to feature a smoked cocktail. It's probably been the rage for the past several years and it's picked up some speed with various equipment available. But I'm going to show you a very easy way to make your own stovetop smoker using probably material you have in your own kitchen. And we'll be featuring it with one of our favorite brands of whiskey today from our Canadian friends up north, our Crown Royal Whiskey. So join me in the kitchen as we start the smoking process for our smoked Harvest Sparkle cocktail. Okay, so let's start our Harvest Sparkle cocktail that we're going to be doing a smoked version to with our ingredients that you're going to need. So first off, make sure you have a medium-sized soft uh, saucepan and a whisk. That's going to be how we're going to make our sweet syrup. For the sweet syrup itself, you're going to need one cup of orange juice, a half cup of honey, and I prefer local honey if I can find it, and usually I have a good source of it all year round. And that is going to be the sweet component that will counter the smokiness of our wood chip. Okay, and to that, we're gonna add some of the spices. First spice in is gonna be one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground clove. And you can certainly feel free to do this from seed form and grind your own. We need a medium heat under this. And then you want to whisk everything together. And in essence, whenever you make a blended cocktail, there always has to be a sweet syrup component to it. For instance, Bellinis, which are popular in Italy and something that I grew up with, feature a Italian champagne called Prosecco, and you always make a sweet fruit syrup base. And most of the simple syrups are just sugar and water. This is a little bit unusual because whiskey has a little bit more of a undertone to it. And in order to balance that undertone, in addition to the smoke we're going to be infusing into it, we need something that's a little bit extra sweet. Thus, why we used orange juice and honey. So this will take about 15 minutes and you can intermittently whisk it. Once it's had its simmer for about 15 minutes, we'll be ready to go. So next, while we're waiting on that, we're gonna talk about our do-it-yourself stovetop smoker that you can make. And what you're gonna need for that, and I'm gonna just push our whiskey aside for now, you're gonna need a roasting rack, and I prefer a round one because I'm going to use a larger stock pot. And then I'm using about a two quart stock pot. And you can see mine is well seasoned from doing various uh, smoking uh, recipes. And you will need a lid with that as well. I'm gonna put the lid aside. Then you'll need some aluminum foil. Mine happens to be in sheets, convenient sheets, but you can use the roll. And you're gonna to wanna to put two layers of aluminum foil at the bottom of your stock pot. So there's one. And that's why I kinda of like these sheets because they're pre-cut and they kinda of blend and fit really well to just about anything I wanna use. So that's gonna be the base to our smoker. Then we're going to take our rack and our rack is going to be what our whiskey is going to sit on. So I'm going to just set that over here with my glass of whiskey. Now for the lid, because wood has creosote and soot to it, you're going to want to protect your lid to some degree. So you can go ahead and take some of your aluminum foil and line your lid as well. This is not going to affect the ability for it to seal for the smoke penetration. It's just going to make sure that we don't get a very sooty interior to our stock pot because if you're like me, you're going to want to use that stock pot for something else too. So I am just putting the shiny side to the 
outside part of that is just so that I can maintain a little bit more of my heat level and not worry too much. Remember, this does not have to be a cooked recipe, so we're just doing it for infusion. So once you have that covered and sealed, just test it out on your stock pot and just make sure that it will actually give you a seal. Once that's all set, you can set it aside. And then what you're going to need is some wood chips. And so today I'm using just a custom brie blend that we put out that's good for fruit, vegetables, and fish. And it's perfect for cocktails, especially a whiskey that's a little bit more potent because whiskey is something that will um, already have some pungency to it. So you don't need a overly pungent wood chip. The wood chips will go in the bottom and there is no need to soak these. There's already gonna be um, a level to the, the wood that is going to uh, render the smoke just fine on its own. Then you'll take your round roasting rack and fit that right over the top of the chips. Okay. Now we're going to be ready to put that on. So what I'm going to do is wait for our simple syrup to finish off its, its uh, marriage of flavors. And then we will push this aside and get our smoker ready to go, get our chips smoking, and we'll be ready to do our cocktail. Okay, so we have finished our sweet syrup. I put it into a measuring cup just to allow it to cool and to make it easier for us to pour off what we're going to need when we make our cocktail. Now, no, you can also put that in the refrigerator and that will cool it down a little bit quicker and it should not muddle any of the flavors. So while that's cooling, we've set that aside. We're gonna go over and do our, our stovetop smoker that we've done DIY style. So I have already put it on a medium heat. I've already put our wood chips in and allowed them to start to smoke. So let's take a look at how it's going. And as you can see, they're ready to go. So it's a simple process. Make sure you have a heat tolerant container for your whiskey simply place it on your roasting rack and then quickly cover it back up with your lid making sure that you get as good of a seal as you can as you'll hear i have my fan on at least low uh, for this video it's on low but you will want to put it on high to make sure that that will drag in the smoke if you don't have an overhead fan connected make sure you have a window propped open that's going to take just about 10 to 15 minutes. It'll all depend on your heat setting on your stovetop. Um, I am using a burner that's designed for a quick boil, so this tends to be my hottest burner. So mine will probably take just under 10 minutes. So we'll be back. We'll take a look at the finished product, and we'll put our cocktail together. Okay, so it's been just under 10 minutes and I am ready to reveal my smoked whiskey. So as you'll see, my whiskey glass has darkened into an amber, as you can see the effect of the essence of the wood. So this is ready to go. Now be warned, if you use glass, it's going to be hot. So you'll either need to use tongs or hot mitt to remove it. And I usually have both available because I am not the best person in the world all the time with my mitts. And you'll see with the wood chips, too, that you may not have everything charred away. So feel free to save those for another uh, cocktail day. So we've let our sweet syrup chill. It's now ready to add to our glass. And I'm going to just make one cocktail today. So I have enough whiskey for at least six. So our sweet syrup will be one tablespoon. plus one teaspoon. And depending on your guest, you can decide how much whiskey that person may want. They might tell you that they want it light. If they don't, then you're going to be using approximately one, what we call jigger here in the United States, um, but it will be a two ounce or a single uh, shot glass worth. So I'm gonna see if I can do this from my glass. I would recommend, if you can, to get another measuring cup and try to pour it off. So I'm just gonna pour one jigger. And I'll go slightly light on mine today. And you'll see the smoke still coming out of it. 
Now you can let your uh, whiskey rest if you prefer for a little bit, or you can go right into an ice glass. Then we just add a little sprig of our fresh orange peel. And we're ready for cocktail time. And today we have a special guest. Dan, who's part of our social engagement team, is going to be our tester. Ooh, that's very good. Very smooth, very smoky. So for those that enjoy something extra special in the fall, or if you ice it off like we did today, you can enjoy any time of year. It is our Smoked Spark Harvest Cocktail. And that was it for our episode this time. Be sure to check in as we'll be featuring a whole new segment. We'll have some surprises for you as we enter our busy holiday period.